I've been stung by yellow jackets tons of times. I bet you have too. So what gives? Why aren't these guys stinging? How did I know I could just pick up this pair and be totally fine? Did I smoke them? Did I spray them? Nope. Time for a little lesson in yellow jacket biology. Yellow jackets sting for two main reasons. There's some others, but these are the big ones. One, if you bug the nest. And two, if you squeeze or swat at them. Squeezing doesn't have to be with your hands, by the way. Sometimes it seems like they sting for literally no reason. But dude, there's always a reason. Even if you don't know what it is. Let's think real hard about every time you've been stung. What led up to it? What prompted the sting? Every time I've been stung, it's either been because I stepped on one, it got stuck in my clothes, or I was too close to a nest. I've seen people get stung when they wave their arms around, and I also know someone who got stung on the lips when one landed on their pop can. If you've ever been stung for doing absolutely nothing, it's probably because there's a nest nearby. Now, speaking for myself, you know when I haven't been stung? in the fall, at a picnic. Sounds crazy, I know. Cause in the fall, yellow jackets are everywhere. This is because the queen stops laying eggs and often dies. Yellow jackets love sugar. And normally the workers hunt meat and give it to the larvae in the hive. Then the larvae give off a sweet sugar that feeds the workers. But now the larvae are grown up, the queen is dead, and the new queens have abandoned the hive. So there's no more sugar and the workers are hungry. That's why they're swarming your picnic. But, and this sounds crazy, they're not there to attack you. It sure looks like they are. They're flying around all fast and going towards you. But the key thing is, they're not in defense mode, they're in forage mode. Functionally, they're like flies. They might try to land on you to lick up some sweat or lotion, but that's about it. That's how I knew I could pick up that pair. They got their sugar fix, and there's no nest to defend, so as long as I don't pinch or swat them, there's no reason for them to sting me. Now let's be clear, in the summer, I do spray nests in my yard. I use Raid, it works pretty good. It's just too risky to have them around, especially if someone's allergic. But if they swarm you at a picnic in the fall, and you know for a fact there's no nest around, the best thing to do is chill and be still. Waving your arms only makes them mad. You could use a salt gun or a fly swatter, but I ain't rolling those dice. Let them have a little sip of juice, why not? They just got laid off and they're gonna die in a few weeks anyway. Who am I to deny a loyal worker their last meal? If you learned a lot from this video, check out the one I made on paper wasps. Remember to read the pinned comment there too. What animal and nature stuff should I cover next? Follow my channel and let me know in the comments.